Hello, welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to play a bit around with Site Graphics Builder. We're going to do an exercise to create a simple controls page to start and stop a pump. So without much further ado, let's get right to it. First, I'm going to create the buttons to start and stop a pump. Set it to auto mode or manual mode. For that, I'm going to use the button symbols. Highlight the project that you want to work in. Go to graphics, pages, and create a new page. Select my style one and use a normal template here. Click OK. Now from the panel here, select the button symbol and use that to draw on the page here. Call this manual. You could change it to bold, change the size. Create two more buttons. Let's call this one auto. And the next one let's call this start stop. Now let's create the LED button for status indication. For that I'm going to be selecting the symbol set over here. Click next uh, to manual. And let me set this to, let's make it uh, large in size. And for off symbol, I want it to be gray. And for on symbol, I'm going to set it green. Okay. Same way next for auto. I'm going to set it to for off gray. And for on, I'm going to set it to green. For the next one, I'm going to set it to gray for all and green for all. Okay. Okay, next we can give these buttons some actions to perform when you click on them. For that, let's go into the, the button. Let's go to the input tab, select up for action, and click on the magic wand here. Insert tag and pick building pump underscore zero zero one underscore mode now if you don't see these tags when you click on the magic wand 
what you might want to do is go to the Sitecode project editor and go into tools options and uncheck the display equipment item when populating tag list if it is checked for you it is checked by default so you might want to uncheck it the reason being that we haven't created any equipment items now we'll be doing a video on equipment items another time click OK close it up and then go back to your button go to the magic wand here insert tag and then you'll be able to see your tags here pick building pump underscore mode and for manual you might want to set it to zero click OK for auto you might want to go into the input tab pick the up action select the magic wand select mode and set that to one now next for the start stop button you want to go into the input tab select the up action and use the cycle function toggle the building pump underscore one mode and okay I think I need to change this to toggle building pump underscore one cmd command and you want this uh, on symbol for the tag PLD pump underscore one underscore CMD command now another thing you could do is for these buttons you could give them or you could type in some tool tips so for that go to the access tab here and I'm going to put in must be in manual mode for the operator to start or to toggle same way I could go into that LED or there go to access and given a tool tip must be in manual to on or off so which basically means we don't want this or we want it disabled when it's in auto mode and auto mode me being the tag mode equal to one so when it's one or when it is in auto mode you want it to be disabled same way for the LED let's go into a disable disable when when your mode is one or when it is in auto mode okay now let's give this a background for that I'm going to click on the rectangle symbol here I'm going to draw a border and we need to have it filled let's select a color and uh, let's have it as gradient fill let me select a darker color hit ok now you want 
your buttons to appear in the front. Okay. Maybe you could group the whole thing together. I click group. Okay, so next, let's add a pump. So I'm going to use a symbol set here for off symbol. I'm going to set it to look for pump base large for off. I want it to be gray in color. For on, I want the pump to be green in color. Now on symbol when, I want the symbol to be really green. When, when this tag here is true, building pump command okay now let's uh, save save this page as my page okay now let's compile and click on run Okay, so let me go to page, page list, look for my page, and let's test, test out the pump. So it's in manual mode, which means I can start and stop my pump. Yes, I'm able to start and stop my pump. Now if I set it to auto, this grays out, um, I don't have control over the pump, so I set it to manual. I'm able to start and stop now. Works fine. That's all I have for this video. Thank you once again and see you in the next one.